What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today starting a series You guys have really enjoyed my ultimate team series in the past We had pack a punch a couple of years and then we had power of Peterson last year I'm going instead of a pack based series with another player based series this year And that is going to be around the new Michael Vick I was between Michael Vick and Odell Beckham Jr. And I felt like it'd just be easier with a quarterback I've got a lot of Giants focused content on the channel this year so we're going with Michael Vick, one of my favorite players in NFL history for a while. And uh, he's a super exciting Madden player. Very fast, very strong in terms of throwing the football. If you guys could hit that subscribe button if you're new, maybe even hit that like button if we could hit over a thousand likes for the first episode of Victorious. That would be fantastic as Michael Vick is 88 speed, 90 throw power, decent throw accuracy. So... As you guys can see on the right side of your screen, we have a couple of rules. And it is going to be really tough at the start of this series because if you guys have not been on the channel in the past, we start with a silver team and then Michael Vick. So I do have the 89 power of Michael Vick. We will be upgrading that and we'll be doing that right now. But two points for a win and these points do stack. One for a passing touchdown two for two passing touchdowns so that is three passing touchdowns or three on top of each other so so it's one for each and then two for two so i that might be a little bit difficult to follow but if we get one passing touchdown that's one point if we get two that's one point for the passing touchdown and then two points for acquiring our second passing touchdown so it's three or I guess, yeah, it's four total points for three passing touchdowns, if that makes sense. I hope that's easy enough to understand. It sounds a little bit wonky saying it out loud, but it's we get one point if we throw our first passing touchdown of the game, and then if we get another passing touchdown, that's two points on top of the one that we already had, and that's a second touchdown thrown, so it's another point for one touchdown. So four points just for the two there, actually. And then we have individual points. It goes the same exact way for rushing and passing yardage and of course same thing for rushing touchdowns i hope that's easy enough to follow so again if we get a rushing touchdown that's one point if we get another rushing touchdown in that game that's our second so we get two points for the two individual rushing touchdowns and then we get two points for it being our second of the game and it stacks on top of that so if we get three rushing touchdowns that's five total points I think that should be easy enough to follow. It's a little bit wonky. If you guys want me to, to rephrase that in some way, I'm more than happy to do so. But of course, we do now have 92 overall power up Michael Vick. One of the best cards in the game, if not the best. And he looks even better as a power up version. I don't want to look at it in that department. I want to just compare him to any other quarterback on my roster. And it's not even going to be close as I don't really have a team right now. I made a ton of coins, uh, coins from the start of the game just selling a bunch of stuff and this big 89 speed 91 throw power he's just an absolute monster and this is the team around him we have marcus johnson sharon peak keith marshall at halfback here christopher herms in tight end playing fullback colby listenby Derek carrier and moritz bow ringer at tight end zach stirrup jameel denby brian allen lucas patrick and isaiah battle on the offensive line and then defensively we have natrell jamerson malik jefferson hook em horns Foya Sadie, Olakun, Leon Jacobs, Kendall Donerson, Josh Robinson, and then at cornerback Cornell Armstrong. We get Justin Hardy with Trey Flowers, the safety playing cornerback number four, and Brandon Wilson in the slot. Josh Sweat, Julian Taylor, Earl Mitchell, and Brandon Copeland will make up the defensive line. For punter and kicker, there are no silver kicker or punters in the game. So we're just rocking with whoever. Matt Prater, because he's a nat guy that I have. He's just a good baseline for kicker, so we don't have to waste upgrade points on that. And Michael Dixon, same deal, just a gold punter. And Natrell Jamerson will return kicks. Brandon Wilson on punts. Michael Dixon will be the kickoff specialist with Isaiah Battle as the long snapper. As far as specialists go, it's pretty much the same, except we brought in Anthony Averett to be that slot cornerback. And Sharon Peak will stay in the slot. And of course, what is a Falcons Michael Vick series without these sick black falcons jerseys so we're gonna be rocking those as well the way the upgrade system will go in terms of silver to what it's gonna be silver to any gold player in the game and then it's gonna to be to low elite which is 80 to 84 overall and then 85 to 89 90 to 95 and then of course 96 to 99 
hopefully everything makes sense. If you guys have any comments, uh, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be glad to answer any questions, but let's go ahead and get into game number one. Get some upgrade points. It's going to be really, really tough because the team sucks, but that's why it's an upgrade series. going to be a lot of fun seeing it progress. So apologies if it's not what you're into, but I will be making my on-screen debut for the video. And I have not yet played a game of head-to-head -head seasons. So this could go pretty poorly. The servers have been kind of slow for me since hopping on. It is 1130 at night. This would be an odd time for a server reset. I doubt they're going to do that. But things are just running a little bit slow. We're going to get into our first game here in just a second. All right, as you guys can probably see, never played a game. I really would like it to pop up in a reasonable amount of time so you guys can really clue in on that and see that pretty easily but uh this white screen sure is pleasurable to look at yep first game ever we're hopping in 69 overall team nice all right there's our team michael vick and then anthony averett and colton listenby he's got antonio brown carson wentz and jair alexander so i mean any team we face is probably going to be a lot better than ours at the start but that's why we just got to focus on Vic. And um, if we let up a ton of points defensively, so be it. I can't really control that with a team of silvers. But let's just focus on Michael Vic. Winning the game would be huge. Throw at me. That's picked off. Easy reads. What's a children's book? I've already said the Lorax. But we're going to go with the Lorax. I get the user pick six. And uh, of course, that's actually no points. That's no points. It's going to actually help us out in terms of points if we do end up winning the game. But, uh, yeah, that's we don't get anything from that, really, other than satisfaction. Oh, I thought I was going to bait that real hard. Can we please tackle him? Thank you. Kendrell Donerson, I believe is who that is. Is it Kendrell? It's close. Oh, I didn't mean to be on that. Oh, great sack, though. Earl Mitchell brings him down, and we're on offense. I was asking my uh, my good pal on YouTube, TT23, a.k.a. Throne. Make sure to check out his channel. He's way better than me. So I'm like, how do I win with this bad team? He gave me a couple tips that maybe I should try out. But we're going to scramble with Vic. No tips for that. He's just an absolute beast. Spin back, and he fumbles the ball. I should have... I, sh I got way too aggressive there. I should have slid, probably. Or just hopped out of bounds. But uh, it's a good start offensively as far as yards go. That's a thing, I guess. He came out in the same exact set earlier. I wonder if he's actually going to run the ball now. I would doubt it. Yeah, he's not going to. And that's mine again. Oh, he dropped the football. Why? You know what? Props to this guy. He's doing a really, really good job of going short, picking up the, picking up the first downs little by little. We pretty much got everything locked up here, and we do. It's going to be Josh Sweat with the sack. It's a sweaty sack. That's got to be an interception. It's going to be Donerson. And we're going to have a lot of yardage to work with. I believe it's Kendrell. It could be Kendall. I don't remember what I said. All right, so I got safety because I'm terrible. And uh, the QB draw is not great. I'm going to be the first to say that. In my experience... Because it got blown up each time. And I think I am probably had a, about enough QB draw for one lifetime. I hear it works well, but it's not for me. My receivers aren't great, and they're not getting a whole ton of separation. So I'm having that issue when I actually go to throw the ball. But I am going to go to the running back. Just go short to Keith Marshall and hope we pick up a block. And we do. Keith Marshall gets drilled out of bounds, but it's 26 yards from Mike Vick. And uh, if Michael Vick starts going, that's what I need. I need points. I need upgrade points. I need to make this team a lot better here in game one. I thought about running out of the uh, the Cleveland Browns playbook, but I figured probably not the best idea to have Michael Vick run with the dog pound. So we're going to go over the middle to Derek Carrier here. And that was perfect. I don't really want to run the football at all. Just don't want to do it. I need Well, unless I'm running with Michael Vick, that is. And that's going to be open. Derek Carrier again. Touchdown. What are you doing celebration-wise? I'll never know. But that's going to be at least one point for Michael Vick. It's the first guaranteed point of the series so far. 
We are at one total upgrade point right now. All right, fourth and six. All I need is a stop right here. Of course, he's going to pass. And that's a sack. We're actually going to be in range for a touchdown here. Brandon Copeland picks up his second of the game. What do I want to do? Is he going to rage quit before the... He's going to rage quit. He's going to rage quit before the first half is even over. He quit. All right, so we have points for Michael Vick having a rushing touchdown. Or passing touchdown, excuse me. So that's one point, And we get a point for the win. We probably... You know what? We did do an extra point for rage quits last year. And... I'm going to ask on Twitter. My Twitter is twitter.com slash Bengal Designs. It's going to be linked down below. I'm going to ask you guys in a poll real quick if a rage quit should be an extra point. I'm not going to add it to the list, but we're just all going to know for future reference. All right, so it's definitely blurry, but as you guys can see, we have 87% said yes. We got about 50 votes in however long it just took me to drop a deuce there. So we're going to get an extra point for the rage quit. That's going to be a thing for this series now. Let me go pop the overlay back on. You guys don't have to look at me anymore. And we're going to upgrade this team. All right. So, if you guys didn't listen to the intro very well, here's how the upgrade system works. It jumps up to gold for one point, and then to low elite, and then to, you know, mid-tier elite. So, 85 to 89. So, we do have three points to use from the passing touchdown from... Oh, the win is two. And the rage would be on one. So we have four actually. So if we wanted to, we could take silver Marcus Johnson, bump up to, up to a gold. That's one. To a low elite, that's two. To an 85 to 89, that's three. We could go ahead and get an 85 to 89 overall receiver right now. That might be the move. I need Vic needs somebody to throw to. Offensive lines held up fine. All right, I'm throwing in 89 overall Randy Moss. It's gonna cost me three points to get all the way up there. And that's, of course, from gold is one, 80 to 84 is two, and then up to 85 to 89, that is three. So three points on 89 overall Randy Moss, and I think he is worth every single bit. I really wish compare would be the number one thing, so I don't keep hitting upgrade by mistake. But as you can see, this Randy Moss is pretty good. 89 speed, 88 catching, 85 catching traffic, 89 spectacular catch, 85 short route running, 87 medium, 89 deep. He is just a fantastic player. Really, really can't wait to use him in-game. Just should be an absolute stud and a great target for Michael Vick. And we could actually upgrade another spot. I think the defense surprisingly held together pretty well. I might just want to get a better cornerback number one. But another target for Vick probably wouldn't be the worst thing. Let's go look at a, uh, a gold receiver. I think I actually probably know who I want. Even though he's expensive... I think the best possible thing we can do in terms of upgrading the team and really giving us something to work with here is going to be with this final upgrade point, John Ross. He's a 74 overall receiver and he's pretty expensive for only a 74 overall, but it really comes down to the fact that he's ridiculously fast at 90 speed and speed kills dogs. Ah, come on now. Come on now. All right, we got John Ross in the game. We're actually going to play two games here in this episode. But John Ross is going to go in into that slot receiver role instead of Sharon Peak. We're going to leave Marcus Johnson out there. And um, let's go ahead and where where is he? He's a 74. That's how numbers work. All right, let's go ahead and sub him into the entire depth chart. That's going to put him at slot receiver since Sharon Peak was my specialist for that spot. So we are we're balling a little bit here. We got Michael Vick. We just gave him a huge number one target. And I am going to switch Marcus Johnson with Randy Moss to get him as my number one. And uh, it's game time. We're up to a 70 overall. Big points here. Mike Vick's got a, a big target, man. So we are 1-0. One and, uh, one and oh, Taking that 14-2 win over Otag. And let's just uh, let's win this next one. I'll take the two more points. And again, if you guys have any questions about the upgrade system, be sure to drop it down in the comment section below. I'm sure I or somebody else would be more than happy to assist you in answering all and any of your questions. All right, there's our team, Michael Vick, Randy Moss, and John Ross. He's got Antonio Brown, LaShawn McCoy, and Cam Chancellor. So we're going up against a really similar team to last game, I would guess. Just a grinder who's played solos, and he's taking his team online. 
for maybe the first time, hopefully. And uh, maybe we'll show him a thing or two. Probably not. I'm going to get smoked more than likely. Oh, get after him. Malik Jefferson. We got real heat up the middle there. Thunder smoke. We better on the play action. I'm just going to step out of bounds. Uh, he almost muffed it, which is not great. But this is just going to have us 80 yards to work with for Michael Vick down the field. If this is cover two. Randy Moss should have this destroyed. Michael Vick throws a bullet. It's over the head of whoever his linebacker is. I think that's Zach Brown. Randy Moss off to the races. Touchdown. That's the type of game changer we wanted to bring onto our team. Is that a dab? I'm not even sure what that was supposed to be. We crush cover two right there. We get a point for the touchdown. And currently that's it. Let me play action. And it's going to be a sack. Josh Sweat. Play action is not working against this team. Not at all. Oh, I tried to get there. That sucks. It's still a long fourth down. He's going to move into the hurry up. Which I'm going to guess if he doesn't get this, he might be out of here. We might get another rage quit, unfortunately. I want someone to stay in the game just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. So we play action. I've fallen down. Help, I've fallen. I can't get up. And neither can Steve Young. It's a sack from Josh Sweat. Is he okay? He's going off. That's another rage quit. He's gone. All right, so that's going to be three points right there. This has been a killer episode so far. So we improved to two... You know, all we need is a few more wins. We've let up two total points, and it was a safety so far. And that's, of course, me just being terrible. But uh, Bengal beat Ben Giggs. So I'll take that. Now we have the face scam on screen if you guys are about that. But what we also have is three more points. Two for the win, one for the rage quit on top of that, as we've decided. And I think it's still going to focus on wide receiver. Upgrading defensively would be nice. And we could use one upgrade point to get a 92 overall Randy Moss out here. I don't think it's worth it at this stage. So I am going to upgrade receiver. We have three points to do so. I could go for a low gold, or excuse me, low elite, and get Tyree Kill, spend one point, and then two points to get another low elite. I just think John Ross is going to be so good. We're going to hold on to him for a little bit. And I think we're just going to upgrade three points straight into Marcus Johnson. So that's going to be one to gold, one on top of that to low elite, and then our third one will be 85 to 89 let's go find a receiver definitely be sure to, in the comment section down below to recommend some players that i should think about upgrading to in my next episode as i'm sure we'll hopefully get at least one upgrade point even if we lose as this actually looks like a shred baseball so you guys know who that is but we have all of this in our territory we're gonna go 86 to 87 and odell is certainly an option he is an expensive option but he is certainly one that we could look to go for. And I know speed is so important. Who do we want? I think the best bang for our buck is actually going to be this 88 overall flashback Doug Baldwin. He's a really solid option. This takes away all of our upgrade points, but it also gives us a really, really solid option to throw to at that wide receiver number two position. Very, very solid pickup to the team. As you can see, he does have 84 speed, so... Not exactly top tier, but it should be more than effective for us. 83 jumping, whatever. But 91 catching, 89 catching traffic, 89 spectacular catch, 88 short, 85 medium, and 83 deep route running. So slants, drags even, ins, outs. He should be really, really good. It's going to be like deep posts where he's going to struggle just a little bit. But we have Randy Moss for the deep post. We have Randy Moss for the streaks. Doug Baldwin's just got to come in and do some of the dirty work up short. He got us four or five yards maybe. And up close, he's going to be doing just fine. So he's going to come in at wide receiver two and make this team, I think, a heck of a lot better as we continue to make this offense a little bit more high-powered, hopefully every episode in. Definitely like the video if you guys enjoyed the start of this new series. And um, yeah, sorry I'm so bad, but I think that's maybe part of the fun. I tried here. The opponents we were playing weren't anything special, so it wasn't too difficult, especially with this beast. 92 overall, power up, Michael Vick. What a card. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.